I goofed. I've, I've been chopping here, and it's it is such a pain to try to mince garlic very fine. And when I was in Thailand, they just stick it in a mortar and pestle, and that's what I should have done from the very beginning, along with their Thai chilies. I don't have Thai chili today, but I sure got some red. And we gotta have a little chili in our. But you, the only thing is when you do that, especially if you work with Thai chilies, make sure you don't get a lungful or a eyeful. It can be pretty, pretty intense. So nice, nice bunch of garlic and chili. I don't know if we're going to have enough garlic there. I think I could probably do more, but because this is a huge amount of salad. I definitely need more garlic. So I'm going to get with more garlic. This is my own garlic I grew. I grow a year's supply of garlic every year out on my front parking where the grass used to be. At least I remembered my um, smashing device. In my book I say, get thyself a smashing device. You know, if you're a little upset with somebody, or yourself, <laughs> or yourself for being upset with somebody, you can go in the kitchen and smash some garlic. Yeah. That's good. Okay. That's really not enough to, to mess around with, but a little more will help. Yeah, smash, smash. This is a nice deep clay one, you know, so it doesn't fly out. And, and those other ones that are sh short, you know, they're for fussy, mincing, grinding. They're like a pharmacist. I mean, this is smashing, pounding away. And, um, yeah, I did get mine in Bangkok, but I think, I know, I looked one up um, online here in the States for somebody. On, on, it's on my Facebook page the other day. and So they have them here. We love Thai food because it's a blend, often of sweet, sour, spicy salt. And so we've got some spice in here in the form of red uh, chili, although I don't think enough, because this, this here isn't even red Thai chili, it's just chili flakes, chilies to arbol, I think, probably, pretty mild. So for the salt, I'm gonna use some fish sauce because um, I don't mind fish sauce. I think I'm the closest to a complete vegetarian of anybody, and I, I don't mind a little fish sauce in my Thai salad. Um, if you, if you've got, uh, if you've got somebody that is vegetarian, vegan, that would not like fish sauce, what would you use instead? Soy sauce or tamari. That would be great. Fish sauce is just wonderful stuff. It brings the umami. So there's some salt and then, um, just use some sticks here to make me you know, if I grab a spoon, you know, there's a tendency to start to stir, and I don't want to do that. So just to get that fish sauce going a little bit. In my first book, where Thai slaw is in Cooking Beyond Measure, I don't even mention sugar in there because I don't use sugar as a rule. I'm only uh, uh, myself. I have an allergy to it. But uh, so what I did in Cooking Beyond Measure was I used... Uh, fresh medjool dates and put that in for the sweet element, not the sugar. But today I'm, I'm just going to use just a little bit of sugar in there, raw organic cane sugar from the bulk bins to let it have the sweet element. Sometimes when you're serving it for, for a large group, they don't know that they've got to get a bite of date every time, and if they don't, they'll end up with spicy, sour, salty which sometimes isn't very fun. So sweet, salt, spice, sour, limes. Mmm, boy. That's the last of the batter. I'm not sure. I might have to make some more. We'll have to see. A couple of hunky pieces of cabbage got in there, so just weed those out. So just um, you know, get some limes going. 
And um, what I like to do to squeeze a lime is just get my, my chef's knife in there and ream it out that way. Some people just see me do this and they feel like it's very risky and not appealing at all. Um, it's much safer than with a, a paring knife though because it's big and it actually does the reaming. So I've tried it with a paring knife and it just, um, I'm not comfortable with that way. But you know, you can get the juicers. I just don't want to get out another piece of equipment. I just like to be here, me and my knife, and have it go pretty quick and also have the cleanup pretty quick. And another thing, you know, I like to hold the lemons, the limes in my hand. I didn't have some automatic press thing. Definitely in the kitchen, it's a sensual experience. You know, the smell, the feel, the taste, the touch, the visuals. I tell you what, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, coconut and peanuts in there and see what I think then. And basically, boing, when I serve this, I use, the, I use them as garnish. But for today, since they're going to fill Thai slaw rolls, I'm just going to put them right in there. So I'm going to toss it with my son. An almond got in there by mistake. Okay, now I try. Mm. Oh, that's good. Woo! It's got plenty of spice. Woohoo! That's wonderful. Okay. I don't think too much coconut will hurt. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. See, sometimes when you taste, you know, you might get one piece that's not quite right. So that's why, you know, if it's not working for you, kind of fiddle around and come back to it, and then you'll see. And I am thrilled with how this tastes right now. And see, I even have a dish from Thailand I bought over there that I'm gonna put the rolls in. So uh, what I was saying, oh, and also when you do your work with your rolled ups, notice there's two sides. And so you'll have to decide which side you think is prettiest. I kind of like, I kind of like this side with the little golden things, the little golden parts. So, I mean, you can use a spoon I suppose I could use a spoon, just since you're watching. <laughs> but and I really don't really like a spoon because I can't feel it so much as what I'm doing. Anyway, the idea is, and see, here is, here is where we can be frugal but lovely. This is a nice little bit, maybe, a, you know, a third cup of vegetables or something in there. We don't have to just overfill it. And then we don't need so many veggies. So we can be conservative that way because fresh produce is, is expensive. So let me just put this down. I'm sure you can see. I'm just going to roll it up. I like to put, put both sides in and then roll. Roll it up into a little Thai slaw roll. Mmm. Shall I taste that? Make sure it's okay. Oh, gosh. Knock your socks off. You know, this real soft, warm, well, it's not warm, it's, it's cooled down now, but the soft bread, and then the, mmm, wow. The beautifully seasoned vegetables in there, you get that lime and sweetness going on, but not just cloying, you know, it's got the garlic and the ginger and the coriander. Thai slaw rolls. Come to the wedding tonight and you can see them all rolled up in this beautiful platter. Mm -hmm.